Samsung announced a bunch of new products at IFA today, including a new Note 4, a Note 4 with a curved display, a watch, uh, and a VR headset, which is crazy. Uh, Dan Seifert's here. He's played with all this stuff. Uh, let's just start with the most important one, the Note 4. What's going on there? So Note 4 is an update of Galaxy Note line. It's almost exactly like the Note 3 on the outside, except it's got a faster processor, higher res screen, and Samsung finally put some metal on its phone. Yeah. Uh, and it's made this metal it. band. Instead of faking it, right, the Note 3 had this like really ugly chrome plastic that's supposed to look like metal. Uh, but it's, Note 4's got a metal band around it, and it's got a kind of the same soft touch back. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that leatherette feeling, but they got rid of that awful fake stitching. Yeah. Feels a lot better in your hand. Put together a lot better. It's remarkable how big of a difference what a little thing like a metal band does when you're holding the device. So it's basically just a really refined Note 3. It's a refined Note 3. It's exactly what it is. It's Samsung saying, we did a really good thing with the Note 3. A lot of people complained about these particular things. We fixed those particular issues. Mm -hmm. Here's a Note 4. It's faster, better screen. Right. And they're also doing camera. stuff to make it more luxurious, right? There's like Swarovski crystal backs. They like partner with Mont Blanc to do nicer styluses. Yeah, so like Samsung's had these partnerships for a while with Swarovski, but now they're like just going like full hog onto them. And I don't know if we're ever going to see them here in the U.S., but I can picture them in Samsung flagship stores worldwide of like getting a Swarovski crystal back for your so Note anyway. 4. Other than being your Find Note 3, anything major about the Note 4 that's worth knowing? So I think what the big takeaway for the Note 4 is, is Apple's going to be expected to release a big phone next week, or announce yeah, a big 5. phone. 5.5 inches. 5.5 or whatever it might be. Uh, Samsung has long held on to that big screen market. It kind of invented the phablet. This is Samsung putting its best foot forward to be able to hold on to what it's got against a big screen incoming iPhone. You think they'll be successful? It's hard to say. I think that this is definitely the best Note that they've released yet. Mm -hmm. uh, they refined a lot of things. They made it better. The Note 3 wasn't a bad product. If you wanted a phablet device, it's definitely the best option. And now this is just a better Note 3. Yeah. Every we'll have to see, see what Apple brings out. Every time I see a Note 3, I'm like, man, I want a gigantic screen. <laughs> uh, so Samsung, they also released the Note 4 Edge, which is the Note 3 with like a little bit of a screen curve, some buttons along the side for quick actions and like right. notifications when you watch videos. Did you play with that one? Yeah, so the Note Edge is exactly what you said. It's a Note 4, except on the right-hand side of the phone, they've taken the screen and like kind of just melted it along the side. Uh, and they've had this like kind of concept for a long time. We saw a couple years ago at CES, they were showing off the exact same concept. But now you can actually, or will be able to go buy it. And the curved kind of side, it shows different notifications for you. You can check your weather. You can have it act as like a clock on your desk. Uh, they even built a silly little game for it that you play on the Edge, which is just Silly. Is that just Samsung being Samsung? Is this the This future? whole product is Samsung being Samsung. Yeah. This is like, this. it feels to me like this is a very much a first generation product that doesn't have a clear purpose to exist other than Samsung saying, we can do this and nobody else can. Right. I remember a long time ago, this uh, Samsung had the Continuum on Verizon, <laughs> yeah. which had two displays. And this feels... Well, no. It had it one, one display, display and a black bar. And they blacked out the Ridiculous. middle of it. <laughs> uh, it just feels very much... Is anyone going to support this? Right? Exactly. You know, I, when I talk to Samsung executives, they say they haven't released pricing yet, but they say this is going to be positioned higher than the Note 4. I don't think that they expect a whole lot of people to go for the Note Edge. It's just kind of like a thing that they built because they could do it. If you use it with your right the hand, the ultimate Samsung. It's sense. the ultimate Samsung. Yeah. If you use it with your right hand, you can like swipe along the little edge. Uh, it's still a really big phone, obviously, so it's not super comfortable. But if you use it with your left hand, that curve does like nothing for you for interaction. Right. You got to hold it upside down. You got to hold it upside down, which it's is like hilarious. ridiculous. So. Uh, uh, so speaking of other Samsung stuff today, big news, uh, Gear S, which was announced a few days ago, but today mm -hmm. you got to play with it now. Yeah, so the Gear S is the biggest smartwatch Samsung has ever released. Looks like, it looks like something from a movie. It looks yeah, like so you like your watch, watch a missile. From yeah, your watch looks small yeah. because this thing has a two-inch curved screen, uh, and it is, I've, I've long said that these things look like computers on your wrist, and they always mm -hmm. have, but like this is literally the closest thing we have to a computer it on your wrist. It has a full QWERTY keyboard. It has a full QWERTY keyboard. You can swipe on it. You know, I know some developers announced some things. That there are keyboards that they have on Android phones. They're going to be porting to this thing. Uh, it's got a SIM card in it, so you can leave your phone at home and still get your text messages and emails and, God like forbid, it. make calls uh, from this curved two-inch screen. Uh, there's no plans to bring it to the US yet. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, and we don't really know what it's going to cost, but like this is like peak Samsung smartphone. Like yeah. this, is, this is Samsung going full hog with a big curved display, uh, and it looks cool. I don't think I'd ever wear it out of the house. Though. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? Next uh, next week, Apple's going to do a watch right. or something, we expect, and this is kind of their... Yeah, this is Samsung trying to preempt it. Yeah. And so then lastly, speaking of crazy Samsung, they announced a VR shell for the <laughs> Note 4 in partnership with Oculus. It's a great name. 
Uh, it's what the Note 4 VR display, uh, Innovators Edition, powered by Oculus. It's just an amazing, <laughs> amazing collection of nouns, all in that name. Uh, it's kind of crazy. You put a Note 4 in it, and you can like wave your head around. Yeah. Is that is this just a gimmick? So I, you know, this thing is like I, I looked at it and I was like, that's silly. It's ridiculous. I know that had been leaked a couple weeks ago, and I thought same thing. But when you put it on, and it's the same thing that you get when you put on the Oculus Rift. It's just this like oh my god experience, like you're sucked into this world and you're moving your head around all over the place and yeah, you're doing your best Stevie Wonder impression <laughs> and like you're just in this world and like it just put a smile on my face right away. Yeah. And it's just a fun thing to play with. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know when you're going to be able to buy it. It only works with the Note 4. Yeah. There isn't a whole lot of software with it. Samsung says there's going to be a software store when it launches. Samsung makes a lot of promises about software. Samsung store. makes a lot of that's, software promises. That's, that's right. Not, that's not going to happen. Uh, but you know, there was a couple demos on there. You could be Tony Stark in his lab and like grab yeah. things and stuff like that. There was this um, flight simulator demo where you flew the ship around with your head and tapped the side to blast things, which is like yeah. Super fun. It's probably good, and it's like fifteen minutes of entertainment. Just you're done. It, you know, if the thing's cheap, it's a good toy to buy for Note Four. I think. I think what they're going to do because it only works with the Note Four. I think what they're gonna, this. They did the same strategy last year with the Note Three and the first Galaxy Gear. It only worked with the Note Three and like one other phone. So Samsung bundled them together and they put a Galaxy yeah, Gear yeah. on a lot of people's wrists that wouldn't have bought. Oh, AT and T is going to be giving these things away for free. Like crazy. I think that the Gear VR is going to be the same thing. It only works with the Note Four. If you buy Note Four, you can pick this up for fifty bucks or something. Got it. And it doesn't work for anybody else, but. You know, it's fun. Awesome. Samsung, doing it. Thanks, Dan. No uh, problem. Subscribe. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching that video. The first thing you should do if you liked it is click the thumbs up button down below. Then, if you haven't already, you should subscribe to our channel over here. It's awesome. You'll love it. And you'll especially love these two videos, which you should watch right now because really, what else do you do?